New York Mycological Society is a mushroom club for all New Yorkers. It's literally a club of people who love mushrooms and fungi. It's 61 years old and it was founded by avant-garde composer John Cage and a few of his anarchist artist friends. And how many folks are currently involved in the society? Um, we have about 1,400 members right now and um, that's kind of doubled uh, since the pandemic. There is a shroom boom going on right now and it's because people are discovering these many different aspects of fungi. Sometimes people get a little bit ahead of the science, you know, where they go like, mushrooms will save the world, they'll eat all our trash, you know, and it's like, you know, humans got themselves into this mess, humans will have to figure out how to get out of this mess. Talk to me about some of the benefits that fungi in our natural ecosystem do to, to combat climate change naturally. Right, yeah, so one really important thing that fungi do is just decompose, you know, organic debris, like all the trees and branches that are falling in the forest. You know, if it wasn't for fungi, they would just be lying there and they wouldn't be recycled into organic materials that other organisms can, you know, benefit from. They really um, help a lot of trees. There's a lot of fungi that have beneficial relationships with trees where they shuttle water and minerals to the tree and the tree pays them back in sugars. It's a very, I want to call it a capitalist or social sort of trading ecosystem. But fungi also sequester um, greenhouse gases underground. So they sort of take them out of the atmosphere, make sure that they're staying in in the ground, so for that they play a very important uh, role in, in the much larger sort of universe. The New York Mycological Society hosts guided walks, scientific lectures, and workshops for city residents to learn more about native mushrooms. But this group is also busy changing mindsets in Albany, too. New York State has the state bird, the state flower. Are you in the works of creating a state fungi? Yes, New York has it all. It has a state fossil, it has a state mineral, it has a state snack, it has everything. But it doesn't have a state fungus. Uh, and we're campaigning right now to have a, a state a mushroom declared. We have two bills, one in the Assembly and one in uh, the Senate, right now ready to go. Why do we care about a state fungus? Is it just because it's cute? No, it's because fungi never get the conservation attention of, for example, plants or animals. Um, they don't get the conservation dollars, and they're just as much in need of protection. That's awesome. And can I ask which species? Uh, yes. So we picked a, a mushroom that most people haven't heard of, Lactarius pecchii. Uh, the reason we picked it, it, it's A, very beneficial for ecosystems because it, it lives in partnership with trees. It's not edible, it's not poisonous, and it was discovered by a pioneering female a uh, New York mycologist in, over 100 years ago, and she named it after her mentor, was, who was a state botanist for New York State. So there's a, a big local connection that this mushroom has with the state. I'm Linda Gaudino, News 4 New York.